The CardioLife Tech A352 is a manual defibrillator, AED, and monitor, following an easy 1-2-3 step to deliver a high current electrical shock to treat patients with a VF or VT. The main element in the front panel is a rotary switch, intuitive to use and very fast in operation. The status indicator shows the device readiness. Below the screen are the function keys for starting the NIVP measurement, lead selection, sensitivity, event tracking, freezing the display and menu selection, as well as the battery charging status, the silence alarm key and the record key. On the left side of the front panel, all buttons for the pacing feature can be found. On the bottom right, the hard paddles or the disposable pads can be connected. On the back side, there are two slots A and B. In slot A, a battery can be inserted, while slot B is for AC-DC module or a battery. The power cord can be connected at the back side when the AC-DC module is inserted in slot B and charge the battery in slot A. The left side contains the inlets for the ECG leads, the SpO2 finger probe, two multi-connectors for temperature, pressure, and the CO2 sensor kit, the NIBP socket, and the temperature probe. On the right side, you can find the recorder for 50 mm paper and the SD card inlet. The hard paddles are embedded in the housing of the top. Practical sockets hold the hard paddles when the gel is already applied. For children use, the hard paddles can be modified to a smaller surface. If Nihon Koden disposable pads are used, a clear ECG signal is warranted even during CPR. The clear wave technology of the pads ensures that the chest compressions are filtered out. The pads can be used for adults and children. In the manual mode, the Tech A352 charges up to 200 Joule in less than 4 seconds. The synchronized cardio version delivers an electrical shock with appropriate timing after detecting a patient's QRS wave. The cardio version is used for elimination, for instance, of atrial defibrillation or atrial flutter. In AED mode, disposable pads are needed. Adult mode. Stay the DEFIB analyzes the patient's ECG and judges whether electrical shock is needed. Press AED button. When pressing the button AED, energy is charged Analyzing to the default of 150 Joule. Press the shock patient. button to deliver the shock. Shock delivered. It is safe to touch patient. Start CPR. When the patient is a child up to an age of 7 years, Please use the AED in child mode. For the first shock, 50 joules are set as default. All energy levels can be changed in the system setup. The patient is an adult. Set the control dial to AED without pressing the child mode button. Patients with bradycardia can be paced with two modes, fixed and demand. In fixed mode, the pacing current is output at the selected pacing rate, regardless of spontaneous heartbeat. In demand mode, the pacer senses the patient's heart rate and will pace if the beat is slower than the rate selected. The CardioLife Tech A352 defibrillator has various monitoring functions showing waveforms and numerical values, including ECG signal and heart rate, temperature, invasive blood pressure, an invasive blood pressure waveform, SpO2 value, pulse rate, an SpO2 curve as well as CO2 waveform, and tidal CO2, partial pressure, and respiration rate. 
The NIBP measurement has three modes. A manual mode, once whenever the NIBP function key is pressed or automatically with different selected intervals, and there is a stat mode for monitoring NIBP, for instance during general anesthesia with a selectable stat program. The trend graph shows per parameter a chronological trend of the measured value with a changeable time scale. Other reports include a waveform report and list reports such as the event list and the periodic list. The defibrillator performs a self-test every month on the 15th day or every day at a selected time and when the defibrillator power is turned on or off. The basic functions and operations of the defibrillator should be checked on a regular basis. This includes system check, paddle check, defibrillation check, and others. To perform a review of certain detailed functions, an external defibrillator analyzer is necessary.